Hey guys, welcome back to another Pokemon Go update. My name is Fenitax and today I wanted to talk to you guys about Mega Evolutions in Pokemon Go. So it's pretty crazy, right? Uh, it's all safe to say that we're hyped for the release date of this, but it's supposed to be like a real life feeling uh, while playing Pokemon Go. So what I was thinking to myself, um, how do we go like about Mega Evolutions? If they're trying to include like all of the Pokemon uh, into the game, like into the app, then how do we go about like items and Mega Evolutions? and stuff like that. Um, obviously for the Mega Revolution to happen uh, we need a Mega Bracelet. So what I feel like they're gonna do for that would be pretty crazy stuff. Maybe add like a DLC download or something like that or you can buy it. I don't know but it's something I'm pretty sure a lot of people will like to see. Uh, like a real life Mega Revolution happen in front of you. That'd be pretty cool. Um, so I just wanted to get my thoughts off on Mega Revolutions in Pokemon Go and I, I, like I said I think they will be like kind of weird about it. Um, I don't know if it was to happen, but it would be amazing if they could. And if they're trying to make it as real as possible and include all the Pokemon in the games, like I said, um, I just really want them to include, like, items and, like, Mega Stones and what will be their locations. Um, I feel like if they were to include items in Pokemon Go, it will make it such more interesting rather than just capturing the Pokemon, like, straight off the bat. Um, locations on the Mega Stones could be tricky too. Um, I would presume that Mega Stone locations would be available, like, in the games like a certain time of day much like in x and y um they had it when the sundial was like shining uh that was when your chance was to find mega stones so would they be able to do that with pokemon go like a certain time of the day uh, for like two hours you can find mega stones and stuff I think that'd be pretty interesting if they could fit that into it as well, that'd be really cool. Um, what I'm thinking is for locations on the Mega Stones, um, we'll say Mega Gyarados for like example, um, maybe a cool thing to put his like Mega Stone in maybe like a pond or anything like that, or like a short river. Um, I feel like they won't, they'll probably put this thing like at a beach if you're there, <laughs> just like stumbling out into the middle of the ocean with your iPhone looking around for a Mega Revolution Stone, uh, that'd be pretty dope. Uh, but yeah, I feel, I feel like they'll revolve them around like the certain in a habitat around it, so like a, um, I, I don't know, because they're not really going to put like a, like a, a Mega Evolution Stone for like a fire Pokemon in the middle of a fire. Ah, that's just like legit shit stupid. Uh, they wouldn't do that. Uh, but it's like I wanted to get my thoughts off on where do you guys actually think they will put Mega Stones in the game if they do include them. Um, like I was saying, it'd be pretty dope if they could really put these in. I'd be super, super happy if they did, because it'd make the game more interesting, uh, rather than just going out capturing Pokemon. Yeah, that's going to be absolute hype, uh, but we want to feel like this is a real-life Pokemon thing. So, including Mega Revolutions and Mega Stones and items and stuff like that, then I feel like we would get the full experience instead of rather than just going out capturing the Pokemon which we're also used to, uh, we want to actually feel like they're real. So finding these items would like be more satisfying rather than just capturing Pokemon. I, I just wanted to get my thoughts off on it because I think it would be a really cool idea. Um, but yeah, be sure guys you can leave your own thoughts and whatnot down below in the comments section as well. Um, I would love to get your, I would love to know what you guys think about Mega Revolutions. Do you think we should put them in the game? Do you think we shouldn't? Um, I, I, I don't know. To be honest i just think it'd really make the game a lot better and it'd make it more interesting and more lifelike now i don't know like i said uh, about finding these mega stones and how would we get mega bracelet and the items and stuff if it were to be like a download you'd have to pay for it i mean like a lot of people would Every, i'm sure a lot of people if it wasn't too expensive uh, they would buy like a mega bracelet download for it so you can mega evolve your pokemon because if they're including all of the pokemon in it then we'll want the full experience so i'm sure they will include like the mega revolution stones and stuff. I don't know. It's something I wanted to get my thoughts off because like, it's been rallying me for quite a while. Um, we've not that had that much Pokemon Go news as well. All we know is that they're um, they're beta testing in Japan right now. So what I want to know real quick is will they include items such as Mega Stones? Uh, like even if it's like super potions and stuff like that, it's just something that I really want them to include because we're getting this lifelike Pokemon game. Then what you know we want the full experience. I don't know, this is just something I wanted to get my thoughts off and let you guys know as well. So like I said, be sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below in the comments section. Uh, it'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. I'll go through them all and I'll try to get back to you guys as much as I can. Uh, just generally about where you think uh, the Mega Evolution Stones will be and locations around it. Like I said, I mentioned like Mega Gyarados. 
will be around like a pond or something like that. Uh, for the flying, maybe, I don't know, some like a field, maybe with like a lot of open space, maybe, for like flying mega stones. I don't know, something like that would be pretty interesting. It'd be something definitely to think about if they could include this in the game. Uh, but I'm pretty sure, you know, it would take a lot to put all that in. So it's, it's interesting what's going to happen. It really is. So like I said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, this has been Fenatax. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Uh, drop a like and a comment if you did enjoy and subscribe for some more Pokemon Go news. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch back with all you guys next time.